All right, guys, let's uh, continue on with our 223 reloading here. And we're actually going to be shooting uh, two rifles. We're going to be shooting the Ruger American Predator, and we are going to be shooting an AR-15 uh, that I've got built up. And uh, you can see my reloads here. So we've got some Nosler 55 grain, Hornady VMAX 60 grain, and some uh, Hornady 75 grain that I'm going to try out. So we're going to be shooting um, four targets of four <laughs> shots, not shots, but you know, four uh, uh, four groups. And this is for the uh, AR here. I've got uh, CFE two two three loaded up on the seventy five green. I wanted to give that a try, and I did load up uh, four different uh, powder charges here, starting from twenty two all the way up to twenty two six, and then we've got. Uh, and we've got the CFE 223 uh, for the uh, the 60 grain Hornady VMAX um, at 23.5, which seemed to shoot uh, real nice. So that's what I've got right over here. And then for the Ruger American Predator, um, we've got the Nozzlers, which uh, showed some promise in the last video that I did uh, where I shot those. So I've got, uh, I've got uh, 20 rounds of that. And we're also going to try shooting the uh, 60 grains out of there with the CFE 223. All right, let's head for the range and see what uh, what we get. All right, guys. Well, back from the range. So let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the, the, the results here. And uh, I haven't measured them out. I thought we'd just measure them out together on video here. Um, so we're going to start out with the Ruger American Predator. This is the 60 grain VMAX. That's these guys right here. And, uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Um, what I do is I just kind of outline them. And that first group, probably the best group that I shot all day long. Um, so no warm-up shots or anything like that. Um, in the Predator, this is cold bore and uh, yeah, looking pretty good. We'll just draw a circle around these guys and then we'll measure them all up. There we go. All right, let's see here. So, uh, you know, I measure center to center or end to end. So I'm going to kind of, let's see, do my best I can here. All right, so that's about uh, 0.757. Like I said, that's probably the best group I had. Let's take a look at the next one here. We're about 1.142. One point, or actually, let's see there. Point nine six nine zero nine six nine for that one. Point eight. Uh, 6.2, 0.862, if I measured correctly. So not bad for the uh, for the 60 uh, grain VMAXs. Those, uh, I, you know, I found that my rifle really likes that, right around that 55 grain load. So, uh, or, you know, size of the bullet um, does pretty good. All right, so next up... Um, we had a really good result with the uh, Nozzlers here. Uh, previous time out, couldn't quite duplicate it, um, but that's what we got right there. So that's the uh, Nozzler 55 grain Varmageddon uh, bullets. And uh, if I recall, because I'm actually just a couple days after I shot this, um, it was a little windy, it was a little hot. So, uh, you know, I'm going to come up with some excuses there. 
Um, I know I've done way better with the nozzlers than this. Yeah, that one there looks probably like it's the best one. Alright, let's just measure these suckers out. Alright, 1.284, I'll call it. This one here kind of sucked, but what are you going to do? Uh, 1.632. Yeah, not the best groups here. Um, the Nozzlers definitely showed promise the last time out. But uh, not this time around. So, you know, conditions change and, you know, different... Uh, you know, just how comfortable you are, you know, how, how in the groove you are kind of thing changes around a little bit. And that'll change your group size. So this one's, I'm going to call it 1.85. Uh, 1.085. Right? Am I doing it right? Let me see here. Yeah, 1.085. And this one, zero nine one seven. All right, not the best groups, but uh, like I said, we'll have to try those again. All right, next up is uh, we're switching over to the AR fifteen, and uh, we're doing the sixty grain. Hornady's again. Let's take a look how these came out. Now, I can tell you right now, <laughs> it only goes downhill from here. Because um, then we're, we're going over to these 75 grains, and my rifle just does not like that thing. This is a 16.5 uh, inch uh, PSA upper. You know, one of the Freedom barrels. across like that. I don't know what it was. Oh, actually, this one's a flyer from uh, from one of the other. I think I was, uh, I, I did shoot a couple of just factory rounds just to make sure the scope was on. And that's what that one was right there. So not as bad as it looks. Uh, let's see here. Do we even want to measure these? I call that one. 1.225. That's probably the best group I got for uh, the AR this time out. 0.851. So if I do all my things right, uh, the, the gun will shoot pretty decent. That's 100 yards. So, uh, you know, under an inch, can't complain. Let's see, that one's just about uh, 1.785. 1.785. You know, when you draw that circle around it, it looks bigger, but, you know, that's... One, seven, yeah, that's about it. All right. And I'm just kind of eyeballing these, you know, we don't have to be super precise, but, uh, yeah, 1.966, 1 1.966. Like I said, not the best groups, although with the AR, um, I, you know, when I was shooting it, I, I really need, I need a little bit more, uh, um, cushion, you know, under the uh, cheek, and you need a better cheek weld there. And, um, you know, I, I, as I rolled in the video, the video there er, earlier, you can see it's just, uh, it's just not, uh, not perfect. I mean, we're getting like horizontal stringing here almost. All right, let's move over to the worst groups. Let's see if I can remember. <laughs> this is the, uh, 
75 grain. And uh, again, this was with, let me take a look. That's from the, uh, that's from the Predator. Here's the, uh, here's the rounds from the AR. So what we did was we started out with uh, 22 grains. We went to 22.2, 22.4, um, and none of them grouped any uh, very well. You know, no pressure signs or anything like that. Um, all the brass looks fantastic. Now let me see if I can remember how this went. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think it was actually for five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's it. So we had one eh group that was kind of okay. All right, but that's into that one. Yeah, this one I remember was halfway decent. All right, and this was just all over the place. And the actual two other shots for this one were off the paper. So we're just going to go like that. Someplace out there. Um, so I'm not even going to bother measure the. I'm going to measure the smallest one here and see what, uh, see what we came up with. Um, but when I did shoot these, um, I didn't let the barrel cool down. Uh, let me see. Let me take a look at my notes here. Yeah, hot barrel. Uh, I pulled one or two. I made a few notes there. So some of you know some of it's me. Uh, but twenty two point six. That's this one here. That was the best of the day for seventy five. So maybe it uh, maybe it needs a little bit more powder. We might go a little bit higher. And uh, if you take a look at this, um, you can see I was planning on going all the way up to uh, 23.8, but I just never got around to it. Here's those guys. Um, I was kind of in a rush and I just wanted to get out to the range. So 22.6 at least started to group together here a bit. So I won't fully give up on the 25s, but uh, definitely not going to go any lower than 22.6 from what I'm seeing here. All right. And that one there is right around uh, 1.1 exact. 1.100. Oh, oh. I'm going to put that down there. This is uh, 22.6 grains of uh, CFE 223. CFE 223. So. Not the best group, but uh, hey, we're getting closer there. Something, something started going right. So I'm going to definitely uh, maybe load up a little bit more of these on some of these higher charges here. You know, I'm always trying to do like the least charge amount that I can uh, just because, I don't know, I, just, the way I, just the way I roll. I like to go cheap and uh, but accurate. And so I want to find that first node, whatever I can look at um, without really checking data the only thing i'm looking at is just uh you know my group size so i don't have a chronograph or anything like that um so this is the way i do it you know until i get a chronograph which i'm sure will come up at some point here so there's our ar um and there is our predator not too bad um i think actually you know what um, going forward here, uh, I do have, and I don't know if you can see it in the video, I do have a couple of other things coming up. And uh, I've got a new, I've got a new acquisition um, that I will do a video on here. I'll let you guess what it is, but uh, this is probably going to be my next video um, in the next couple weeks, if, unless I do another one in between this guy here. I'm not even going to tell you what it is yet until I actually have it in hand because I live in California. And, you know, they, they don't let us have our guns right away. We have to put them in, you know, purgatory, prison, whatever, whatever nuisance wants. And, uh, yeah, so let's get that out of the way. Uh, take a look at some of the better groups here for the day. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, remember to like, subscribe on the Reloaders Network. Until next time, take care.